all right so now we're going to be taking a look at berg and may in this video um because they are going to be the easter sync pairs i guess but they're calling them the spring sync pairs but like you could call them either or i guess i'm going to be calling them the easter sync pairs because why not <laughs> um but anyways uh berg is going to be an interesting sync pair for sure an interesting support and he's going to be a lot of fun for sure because of that metronome that he has on his move kit which we'll get into um so let's start from the top he is going to have passive one as team supercharge five and has a good chance a very good chance of raising the attack or special attack or both of all sync pairs when a move targeting an opponent is successful and then for passive two he has a catalyst Accel accelerates move gauge on the ally field of play when a sync move is used for the first time so that's pretty solid there and then for passive three he's gonna have healing super hit nine restores the user's hp when a sync move is super effective and majority of the time when you're going into battles in pokemon masters you're bringing super effective pokemon anyways so that's pretty solid here um that's a good effect for a support type um to allow them to survive in battle a lot longer to help support the uh, the rest of the team so that's pretty good and then for the stats obviously well they're gonna be fairy type of course and then they'll be weak to poison and uh, if you're interested about the theme skills and tags, they're going to have fairy support, Unova support, uh, seasonal outfit support, artist, uh, artistic support, and free spirit support, if you're interested in that. Um, and then they're going to have uh, the stats at level 130 for HP, 662, physical attack, 190, physical defense, 222, uh, special attack, 190, special defense, 222 and speed 230 so they're not very fast but i mean their defense are going to be pretty good especially when they're six stars that's going to be around 260 once you get everything completely maxed out so that's pretty good that's pretty good and then for the move set they're going to have metronome which is going to be a very fun move to use because if you play the main series games you know how metronome works and it's going to be very fun because it's going to use any move at random but in pokemon masters they're probably going to be selecting a, a certain uh, move set for metronome um but it says uses one of several moves uh, at random um so they're gonna be seven moves in metronome i guess um but i guess we'll see what kind of moves they're gonna have like who knows if uh togepi is gonna have like uh um outrage or uh blast burn and stuff like that like it would be super fun if uh metronome could use any move in pokemon masters but um it just seems like it's gonna be a select few moves or uh, select several moves that uh, metronome is gonna have but uh once he's in the game then we'll be able to see what kind of moves that they're gonna have and then they're gonna have dire hit all which is gonna be nice and then they have potion and then for the training move happy colors and raises the accuracy of all ally sync pairs raises the defense and special defense of all ally sync pairs by one to three stat ranks at random so it's gonna be one to three but it's gonna be at random and you get two uses so if you get lucky and you get three that's gonna be good because then if you get lucky on both trainer moves you can get a total of six uh special defense and physical defense stat increase which is gonna be good uh, but if even if you get the very minimum you're gonna get plus two special defense and uh, physical defense so even then that's pretty solid because increasing both physical and special so it's not bad and then uh down here uh you can see like their uh seasonal spotlights go is gonna be coming out on the t on the second of april um and they're gonna be going all the way until april the 16th uh or the 16th sorry and then uh that's berg six star outfit and it does look good um, I do like his regular outfit too, but that six-star outfit looks very good. And uh, of course, shout out to Absolutely. Forgot to mention that at the beginning, but uh, shout out to Absolutely for uh, all this stuff over here that we're going to be taking a look at. And then for six stars, uh, once per battle, the stat increase after using a sneak move is doubled, and we already know that because uh, six-star supports are incredibly strong. <laughs> so. That's Berg, um, and then we'll be taking a look at um, Berg's and uh, May's uh, sync grid right after uh, we take a look at May. So let's take a look at May very quickly right now too. Let's zoom in on this, and uh, for passive one for May, uh, she's gonna have sync uh, sync morph. Changes the user sync move type when a sync move is used for the first time. Um, so her sync move is a normal type, but I guess it's gonna be turning into maybe fighting. I guess I don't know how that's gonna work 
Um, but for passive 2, she's going to have Propelling Strike 5, has a very good chance of charging the user's move gauge by 1 when an attacking move is successful. So that's pretty solid too, actually. I do really like that. Um, it's going to be fun, for sure. Um, and then for passive 3, she's going to have Solo uh, Fanfare 6 and radically raises the user's attack when a sync move is used for the first time. So after you use your sync move for the first time, you're going to be at like max uh, physical attack, which is going to be good. Um, I think radically does mean it goes to plus 6, but I could be wrong. Um, but still, even if it increases to plus 4, that's still going to be pretty solid um, because then you can just use support to bring your... Uh, physical attack stat to uh, to the max because I think Torchic increases special and physical so that's gonna be good there too for a nice little combo and uh, she's gonna be a striker by the way I forgot to mention that and then again if you're interested in the theme skill she's gonna have normal strike Hoenn strike seasonal outfit strike um, researcher strike and then battle partner strike and then for level 130 her HP is gonna be at 600 physical attack when she's mega evolved um, it's going to be at 405, physical defense 147, special attack 238, physical or uh, special defense 157, and speed after mega evolving is going to be at 333. So she's going to be a fairly fast Pokemon, not like the fastest or anything, but uh, fast to the point where you're not really going to have too much of an issue with your move gauge. Um, and the stats that are highlighted yellow, those are the stats that are going to be changing when you do mega evolve. So just take note of that. Um, and then for her move set, she's going to have move gauge boost, um, which is going to be nice. And then she has potion and she has potion because of high jump kick, um, because if you miss a high jump kick, um, you're going to be lowering half of your HP, uh, from your maximum HP. So if you miss a high jump kick and you're at full HP, you're going to be at half HP after that, which is going to suck. So you definitely want to make sure you have um, someone on the team that can increase your accuracy. But I'm pretty sure on her grid, she's going to have something to do with accuracy. Um, and then leaving that potion to be very good in terms of healing herself, which is going to be very self-sufficient because she is going to be able to increase her physical attack to the max after the first sync move, which is going to be very good. So as a seasonal striker, she's actually going to be pretty solid. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun for sure. Like she does look to be a lot of fun. And then for the training move, um, Hippity Hoppity. <laughs> I like that name. I like that name a lot. It's pretty cute. Um, and it's going to be all allies. So that's going to be interesting. So let's see what it's going to do. If used by Lopini, so regular Lopini, sharply raises the speed stat of all sitting pairs. And then if used of uh, regular Lopini as well, sharply raises the user's evasiveness. So interesting, interesting. If used by Mega Lopini, uh, raises the user's accuracy. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and then if used by Megalopony, drastically raises the evasiveness of everyone. So, yeah, that <laughs> she's part support as well. Um, so that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. May seems to be very good and everything about her is just cute as well. Like with the training room's name, her outfit, um, like it's just good. <laughs> she's good. So that frees up potions so you don't have to worry about the high jump kick at all damaging yourself so you have free two potions over there and then if you have uh, swan on the team or someone else that could possibly heal you that's pretty good because then you got a lot of healing so you don't have to worry about uh may dying on you very quick um so that's not bad that's not bad at all and since she's a striker she's gonna get aoe on her sync move when she's six stars so that's pretty good that's pretty good um so now that we took a look at their stats let's go into their grid and see what they have to offer over there all right, so now we're on Gray, uh, Maze Grid. <laughs> Jeez, I almost called her Gray. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're on Maze Grid, and we got the typical stat increase over here. Um, so we got high jump, uh, high jump kick power ups, and uh, with high jump kick move gauge refresh, and that's to be expected as always. That's like just the, the typical stuff we get. Um, and then we got Propeller 1 has a small chance of reducing the sync move countdown by 1 when the user's Pokemon uses a move. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to help you get to your max attack super quick too. So that's going to be very, very useful. So you're most likely going to want to pick that up. But we'll see what else she has on her grid. Um, and uh, wait, what do you need to... Okay, so one or more adjustment tiles activated. Move level must be three or higher okay so in order to get propeller one you need to be sync uh three out of five in order to pick that up so 
it seems like she's gonna need to be at three out of five in order to, for her to be like really good. So, but we'll we'll see what else she has. Um, and then she has Sinkwoo power up. So, yep, there's that. Um, and then we got uh, what else? Uh, headbutt move, gauge refresh. Okay, so I okay, so we didn't see what she has uh, when she's in regular Lopini form. Um, but I guess she's gonna have headbutt. So I guess cool. <laughs> I should have added that in, but I guess we'll see what other moves she has uh, when she's not mega lopening. Um, but yeah, headbutt move gauge refresh, um, headbutt power ups. Um, but I guess she's gonna flinch on headbutt because head uh, head headbutt could flinch, so that's not gonna be too bad actually. Um, and then we got potion MP refresh, so that's gonna be very good considering she's a striker. Um, and uh, we have impatient or yeah, impatient one, and you need to be. Um, must be level uh wait uh tiles must be activated uh move level must be three or higher so to get impatient one you need to be sync move three out of five and has a small chance of reducing the user's sync move countdown by one when the user is hit by an attacking move so that's actually really good um because obviously if they sync move then you have a chance of uh lowering um uh your sync move countdown along with you doing a bunch of attacks like you're gonna be getting to your sync move very quick um, and then you got more sync move power ups, and you need to be three out of five. So, like, I guess she's gonna need to be three out of five in order for her to get her max potential, which is gonna suck. So, like, if you are planning to get May one out of five and then use her, yeah, it doesn't look like she's gonna be like the best at one out of five. Um, and then she has list, so she can't get paralyzed. And then she has X defense all, MP refresh too. Uh, okay, so I guess she has X defense all when. Uh, when she's not in Mega Lopini. This is Maze Grid, right? <laughs> I gotta know for sure, because I'm so confused. Yeah, this is May. Like, I... Okay, I guess we should have looked at May's stuff uh, pre-Mega Evolution too, but I guess we're seeing her moveset here now too. Uh, so she's gonna have X defense all pre-Mega Evolution, I guess. And you need to be uh, 2 out of 5 in order to pick that up. Yeah, okay. So she's not gonna be a cheap sync pair, so... Yeah, that's gonna suck. So we get more headbutt power-ups, and then we got HP advantage three. And then again, we need to be three to five in order for us to pick this up. Um, and then we got endurance, and you need to be uh, three to five. <laughs> like that's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, not a cheap sink pair for sure. Um, and then we got uh, move gauge MP refresh too, and you need to be three two out of five. <laughs> There's like nothing here for uh, one out of five. Like that's crazy. Uh, and then we got Hippity Hoppity Move Gauge or MP Refresh and you need to be 2 out of 5 in order to pick up uh, their Trader Move MP Refresh. And then you got uh, High Jump Kick Power Up, Ramming Speed, so that's good, she has a multiplier there. So the more the user's speed has been raised, the more powers it moves and it's going to be very easy for her to increase her speed because it is on her kit as well. Um, and then we got more Sync Move Power Ups and in order to get Ramming Speed you need to be 3 out of 5 um, and uh, more uh, sake move power ups for May. So, yeah, May's grid is good, but in order for her to get her max potential, you need to get her to 3 out of 5, it looks, because there's not very many stuff uh, at 1 out of 5, or if anything, at 1 out of 5. Um, in, uh, well, I guess there's some over here, like uh, high jump power up, uh, high jump kick power ups, uh, just a little bit, and then, yeah, like that's about it. So, like, if you really want to use May, you're going to need to get her at 3 out of 5 in order for her to get her max potential. But overall, like, her grid is pretty solid, but it's not going to be a cheap grid to uh, get, for sure. So let's go to Berg and see what he has to offer. Alright, so now this is Berg, and we're going down the typical stat increases. He has clear-headed, and uh, that's not bad, I guess. So I, I'm assuming maybe, maybe Outrage is going to be on the moveset for Metronome. So if you get uh, Outrage, then you're going to get yourself confused. So maybe that's a sign that uh, Outrage might be on the moveset for Metronome. Um, and then we got uh, Metronome Move Gauge Refresh 1. And Metronome has a small chance. Well, we know what Move Gauge is. I don't need to read that. <laughs> and you need to be 2 out of 5 in order to have the Move Gauge Refresh for Metronome. So it looks like the Easter Saint pairs aren't going to be cheap at all. Um, so that's going to suck. So if you are planning on just getting them one out of five just to add to the collection, then that's fine. But if you want to use them, then the minimum you're going to need to get them is two out of five in order to actually use them. So if you have um, some coins saved up so that you can get just one copy 
and then be done with it, then I guess that's fine. But if you're really trying to get the full potential out of them, three to five is going to be where you're going to have to be at. Um, and then you got Team Grand Entry 1. So it raises the special attack of all ally synchros when the Pokemon enters the battle. And you need to be three to five or higher to get that. And then you got Soup Up 4. Has a good chance of raising the user's special attack when the user is hit by an attacking move. So that's pretty good there too. And you need to be two out of five to get that. Um, and then they have Super Duper Effective 3. And you need to be three out of five in order to get that. Um, and then Dire Hit All MP Refresh. Um, so that's not bad. Um, well, to be expected, obviously. And then we got Critical Strike 1. So that's not bad, but you need to be 2 out of 5 for that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Not cheap, like I said. And then you got Super Countdown 9. Reduces the single move countdown by 1 when a single move is super effective. That's good. That's actually really good. Um, and you need to be 3 out of 5 for that. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, then they got Stamina Reserve 6. Um, for 3 out of 5 and higher. Um... Unbending, um, defense cannot be lowered, and then they got uh, Stalwart, um, special defense cannot be lowered, and then they got um, Happy Colors MP Refresh, and you need to be 2 out of 5 for that. Um, Super Duper Effective 3, so quite a bit of multipliers actually, um, and you need to be 3 out of 5 for that too. Team Healing Super Hit 9 restores the HP of all ally synchros when a move is super effective, that's wow, <laughs> 2 out of 5 for that, so... 2 out of 5, if you're looking for good healing support, um, getting them to 2 out of 5 is going to be a good option. And then you got Potion MP Refresh 2, um, 3 out of 5 for that. Uh, steady Aim, uh, critical, hit rate, uh, critical Hit Rate cannot be lowered. Um, and then they got Vigilance for 2 out of 5 and higher. And they got MP Master Healer 1. And then uh, that's for 2 out of 5 and higher. And then they got MP Refresh for Potion, 2 out of 5 and higher. Team Fierce Entry 1 raises the attack of all ally synchros when the Pokemon enters the battle, and that's 3 out of 5 and higher. Another potion, Master Healer, and that's 3 out of 5 and higher, and then you got your Sync Move Power Up. So, their grids are pretty solid. Their, grid are, their grids are pretty solid, but they're not going to be a cheap Sync pair. Um, I would argue maybe Togepi and Berg are a little bit cheaper than May. Uh, because to get their good support of the healing, then you need to be at 2 out of 5. So, like, if you're just looking for support, then Berg is going to be a nice option for two, at 2 out of 5. Uh, but for May, in order for her to do like all that damage, you need to get her to 3 out of 5. Which, um, obviously, for a lot of players, or for some players, that is not going to be an option. Because, like, the 2-year anniversary is going to be close uh, right after this. So, like, I'm sure a lot of you guys are saving up for that as well. Um, so, if you are interested on in picking these guys up, just 1 out of 5, just to add to the collection, you could do so. Um, but, um, I... If you want to use them at the max at the max potential, it's going to be pretty expensive because three to five is what you're really going to be unlocking everything. Like of course, with every sync grid, three to five is where you're going to be unlocking everything. But like they really get minimal stuff at uh, one out of five, so just be aware of that. Um, but let me know who you think is better personally. Well, obviously, like they're different. Uh, Togepi and Berg, they're a support type, while May and uh, Lopini, they're a striker. But they're going to be a nice combo for sure. When you get them both at 3 out of 5 on the same team. They're going to be pretty good together. Um, but they're not cheap. Um, but let me know who you guys are going to be summoning for. If you are going to be summoning for them. Um, me personally, I'm not going to be summoning for them. Because uh, after I summon for Gardevoir. Um, I'm going to be going for uh, Celine and Rowlet. So... <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll be taking a look at the Alolan uh, protagonist in the next video and Zinnia. So look up for that video. That's going to be it for this one. And I'll see you guys later.